Hey guys, Robert with Aquatic Life here, and what I have here is something to save your membranes, a flush valve assembly. Let's take a look at the water flow. We're going to use the RO Buddy here for example. So the water will enter into the top of your sediment cartridge, travel down, across the bottom here, up the carbon, and out of the carbon it will then go into your membrane. The membrane has two exhaust outputs. You have your filtered side here towards the center, and you have your waste side here towards my right, which would be your left. So the water will travel down the center of the membrane and you also have some water on the outside. The water on this outside can sometimes cause debris to build up and sometimes that can be damaging towards the membrane. So the best way to get rid of that debris is by flushing it. In order to flush the membrane, you've got to get rid of this flow restrictor. Now you can bypass that by using our flush valve assembly. Let's go ahead and plumb our flush valve assembly onto our RO buddy. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the flow restrictor. We'll take the flow restrictor off by removing this blue clip here. Now that we've got that off, we'll push this white collar down and we'll just pull it off. We'll take our two small pieces of tubing here and we'll insert them into each side of the flow restrictor. Now these are double push fittings, so right now I've got it in once and I'll keep pushing and it goes in a second time. Same thing on this side. Once and there's a second. So now we'll take it's going to go right in between the two T fittings and just below the ball valve. So let's take this clip off, push that down, okay, so when you're done it should look something like this. Once you've got your flush valve assembly set up, you'll just go ahead and take your blue clips, put them back in place. So now the only thing that's left is to reattach your flush valve assembly to the wastewater side. And we'll put the clip. Oops. So now when you first go to make water, you want to make sure that your flush valve assembly is in the on position. That way you can flush it for about 45 seconds. Then you'll go ahead and close this. And that'll force water through the flow restrictor. For more information, visit us on the web at aquaticlife.com or check out our YouTube channel.